What is going on YouTube? Today I am back with another simple sensor tutorial to show you how to interface the MPU6050 with your Arduino Uno. So for those of you guys who have been following this channel a lot, you'll know I talk about the MPU6050 a lot and how to interface it with other controllers and do other cool stuff with it. And that's because it's just a really popular DIY accelerometer for projects that involve motion tracking, gesture recognition, robotics and gaming, and many other projects. So in order to get started with the Arduino Uno and the MPU6050, you will just need the Arduino Uno itself. You will need a set of jumper wires, as you can see here, I'm using four jumper wires. You can buy these for on Amazon, they're really cheap. I'll link the ones I bought in the description below. You also need an MPU6050 itself. So you also need to have it soldered. So you can actually buy this from Amazon pre-soldered or you can solder itself. I bought one pre-soldered from Amazon. I will link that in the description below as well. And finally, you will need the USB cord for the Arduino Uno, which once again, I will link that below the one I bought from Amazon. I just bought the Amazon basics one. So now you have those materials. All you want to do is you want to set it up exactly as I have in this diagram. So you'll need four jumper wires. The first VCC will connect to the 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino Uno. Make sure to not connect it to the five volt pin. Secondly, you want to do ground to ground. And I think the labels are one to one. So you should see GND on your Arduino Uno and GND on your MPU6050. And the SCL and SDA pins are just connected up here. And these are the pins that allow you to essentially get the signals for the acceleration, rotation weight values, and temperature from the MPU650 to your Arduino Uno. So that's pretty much everything in terms of the physical setup. Let's jump into the code setup. Okay, now jumping into the code portion, I'm just gonna imagine you have the Arduino IDE already downloaded on your computer. And so the first thing you wanna do is obviously connect to your Arduino Uno. So I just went to my board, I selected Arduino Uno, and for the port, I found the corresponding port. It found my Arduino Uno there. So once you have that set up, you are connected to your Arduino Uno and you can start sending scripts to your Arduino Uno to send the MPU6050 script. But thankfully, we don't actually have to code anything from scratch because this is such a popular sensor. There's already existing Adafruit code and Adafruit library that does all the magic for us. So what we have to do instead is go to the libraries here and I, I already searched MPU6050 and I installed the Adafruit MPU6050 library by Adafruit and I just went and click install and make sure you install all the corresponding dependencies and just wait, it should be fairly quick. And then once you have that, you actually don't even have to write a script because they have example scripts as well. So I went to file here, I went to examples and I went all the way down, I went to add a fruit and I went to basic readings. So you can see I already have the basic readings open here but I'm opening it again. Let me just go back. So I have the basic readings here and then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to send it to my Arduino Uno. So I'm gonna upload it and show you what it gets. So if I go ahead and click upload, you can see it's done compiling, it's uploading. Just wait a sec, it's done uploading. Now if I go to my serial monitor, we should see acceleration. So we're getting it in meters per second squared. We're getting the rotation rates in radians per second. You can convert those to degrees per second by multiplying by, I believe, uh, 180, if I'm not mistaken. And then finally, we have the temperature readings in degrees Celsius. So if I'm moving my accelerometer around, you will see that the acceleration values start changing, which is as expected. So I'm moving it left and right all over the place. You can see I'm starting to get higher acceleration values, which makes sense. Another cool thing you can do with this basic reading script is you can actually change the range of the acceleration you want to start monitoring. So the, the base library right now is telling me that it is the range of eight Gs. So I can get values between uh, zero and eight Gs or negative eight Gs to eight Gs. And you can actually decrease this. And the reason you'd either want to decrease or increase this value is because the, the lower the range is, the more accurate it gets on the MPU 650 and the less power consumption it uses. So if you're using an application that only has acceleration up to one G, it's better you use the, the first range here to save power consumption and to have more accurate readings. And you can do the same thing with the gyro. You can actually lower the, the degree range as well. So that's just a fun thing you could do with MPU 650 that a lot of people aren't really aware of. So you can alter the ranges. So I hope that taught you guys how to connect the MPU 6050 with the Arduino Uno very quickly. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see in the comment section down below. As always guys, stay tuned and thanks for watching.